All right, welcome back to the channel because today on Design, Build and Fix, we're gonna show you how I take a 10,000 pound mile marker winch and attach it to a trailer hitch. Now you're gonna to wanna to click the subscribe button because in future videos, we're gonna show you how we drag a 2,000 pound black walnut log up a hill and get it onto a saw uh, mill so we can turn it into uh, boards. All right, so let's show you how we get this thing done. All right, so here is the 10,000 pound mile marker electric winch that we're gonna attach to my trailer hitch on my pickup truck. A Couple things that we have to do first before we can get going here, we have to get this right there, that cotter pin out so we can take the hook off so this can go through. And then what we gotta do is we're gonna flip this up. It's relatively heavy. And then we gotta take those four bolts out and what that's going to do for us is it's going to allow us to take this whole winch part uh, apart off of the bracket so we can drill holes through the bracket which are already there into our part that's actually going to go into the hitch itself. So let's go ahead and get that done. All right, so now we gotta do is take those four bolts out. It's gonna require a 16 mil socket. All right, so now that those four bolts are out, this should come right off. All right, so before you can do anything with the part that actually hangs on to the winch, you have to get yourself some two inch uh, square stock, quarter inch thick, because you want it to be as strong as possible, especially because this is a 10,000 pound winch. Now I already have holes drilled in this because I didn't want to bore you with showing you all everything I did. I just figured I'd do the last one to show you how it is. Process is pretty much the same for all the rest of them. So what you're gonna do, is this the part where the truck is? This is where the winch is gonna go. And what we're gonna do is put it on top of here and we're gonna drill holes in these three spots. Now those two are already done. You can see them there. We're just gonna drill one in the center. And what I wanted to do is make sure that the front of this is in line with the front of the bracket. So I'm gonna put it in position. I'm gonna line it up with the holes that I already have. When you're doing it, you're gonna come under here probably can't see that but you're gonna to want to make sure that the front of this is in line with that so now that I have it in line the next thing I want to do is take out a speed square and that speed square is gonna allow me to make sure that this is 90 degrees the bracket and the part that actually goes in the hitch into 90 degrees and we're at 90 degrees now I'm gonna take a permanent marker and all I'm gonna do is just Fill it in, and that'll get it pretty close. This is a half inch hole, that's a 3 8 hole. I'm gonna drill a half inch hole in uh, the 3 8 there. Those should work well. Now that I have it all marked, I can take it off. Now it's time to drill the hole. All right, so the three holes that we wanna do is this one, this one, and this one. Of course, those are already done. Now, these on the bracket are 3 8 inch holes but I ultimately ended up doing half inch holes and I'm also gonna do a half inch there. It's gonna allow those things to line up a little bit better and have a little bit more free play. So now because I don't have a drill press and this is pretty thick steel, quarter inch steel, um, you're gonna need some WD-40 that's gonna be a lubricant for it. And what I've done is I'm starting out with a 3 16 bit, gonna to go to a quarter, then 5 16 3 8 and then keep going. 
because I find it's easier to drill smaller holes and repeat it. Now, what you're gonna do is when you start drilling through here, you wanna drill all the way through the bottom because these holes go all the way through. So what I do, put a little lubricant on it, find the center of the hole, Once I've drilled a little bit, clean it off. I'm relatively close to the center, so that should work out pretty good because we do have a little extra space. And we're just gonna keep this process going. So now that I've popped through, I want to make sure I clean that out. And then when I go straight down, I want to make sure I'm perpendicular straight up and down. And I'm just going to keep going. Now, now that I've started it, I need some lubricant down there. So I'm just going to put a little WD-40 down there. What I find is the lubricant causes it to... Uh, have less heat on the drill bit, keeps it sharper longer. And we made it through. Okay. Clean that off. Clean the other side. 3 16 I'm gonna to go to the quarter. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Now you find that once you have your first hole drilled, the next hole goes considerably faster. All right, now we're through. All right, so now that we have the quarter inch hole done, we're gonna move on to the 5 sixteenths. Now to the 3 eighths. All right, now it's drilled all the way through. The only thing I do is I put it in, kind of hone it out of here. All right. Definitely gonna have some shavings in there. You're gonna clean those out. All right, so now we have all three holes drilled. Let me show you how I drilled that one. All right, so here's our bar stock, 16 inches long, and I know this is the outside of our, our winch, and I know the bracket is seven inches long. So I measured seven inches, and all I'm gonna do is put a seven inch mark there, because that's, I know, where the bracket of my winch is gonna go. Now what I wanna do is I have to drill this hole here which is going to accept the pin from the hitch. So I want to take the hitch off. And what I want to do is I want my bar to go in at least how far this goes. And if I were to measure that, looks like we're at two and a half inches. I know for a fact that I have 16 inches, that's seven. That means we have nine inches left over I, I, I'm probably going to do a little bit further in because I want this to have a little bit more strength. So uh, I'm gonna measure this at about three and a half inches. Because as you can see, 
and I did drill the hole at three and a half inches. So what I did, and keep this in mind, this is very important. This is the top where the winch goes. That means the hole that you drill for the pin for your hitch has got to go through 90 degrees on that side. But then what I did, as I put the pin, everything back in, because I want to know exactly where this thing comes out. So what it is, I put a mark there. And I know that I'm at five inches. So if I'm five inches here and I want to come out an extra inch, what I'm going to do, I'm going to mark six inches. Now I've marked six inches. Now I know that when this is flush with that, it's exactly where I want it to be. Now if I were to measure this back, I'm at seven inches. As you can see, I have plenty clearance for my bumper. And now that I'm in the right spot, I'm just gonna take my marker, come down here to the hole over here. And I'm gonna do my circle like I did for this. Once I got my circle filled in all the way, I pull it out and I can drill my hole. All right, so now that we have our three holes drilled here and our one for our, our pin for our hitch, we want to make sure that these things all line up and work before we do any more work. So I'm going to take my bracket, put it on top, and take my bolts. Now these are 3 8 3 inch uh, grade 8 bolts, so they're relatively strong. I'm just going to slide them through, make sure they go all the way down, which looks like they're going to. All right, so those match. Let's go see if the hitch one works. All right, so now that we got our hole drilled, we're gonna make sure that this thing fits. If not, we'll have to make some adjustments. All right, so that looks like that fits, and we're good to go. Now this hole back here is not a half inch. It's a 5 8 and when I drilled that, I drilled it five, all the way through to 5 8 and then what I did is I honed it out a little bit just to make sure that it fits relatively easily. So now that we've verified that all our holes work, all we want to do is to scuff up some of the rough marks so it doesn't give you any cuts later and then we'll put a coat of Rust-Oleum paint on it. Alright, so now it's all scuffed up as you can see. I just put a broom through there, two things to support it. Put two coats of this Rust-Oleum semi-gloss on it. Email. So there it is, it's all painted up with the Rust-Oleum Semi-Gloss Protective Enamel. I have to say this stuff is great stuff, however it does take a little bit longer to dry. You really got to wait 24 hours before you can actually do much with it uh, because it does take a little bit longer to dry, but it does come out absolutely beautiful. Alright, so now what we want to do is to install these bolts onto our bracket and we'll get this thing finished up. So before you tighten these things down, I highly recommend some uh, Loctite on there. Uh, this comes from my dirt bike riding. You don't want bolts to come off.
Doesn't require a whole lot. Then the next thing you want to do is make sure you have a speed square to make sure that's perfectly square coming off your bracket. Alright, so all we got to do now is take the winch, which goes on by these bolts, and they're actually going to stick through these holes, and on our winch themselves, there's uh, nuts that are already encased in there. So once we get this thing on top, it should go on pretty easily. All right, now all we gotta do is install our hook with our cotter pin and see how it fits on the truck. All right, so there you have it, the finished product. We've got the 16 inch bar that's been painted with, a, with enamel. Inside here, there's the three bolts that we put on. We also reattached the mile marker 10,000 pound winch to it. We pulled our cable through and ready to get this thing installed on the truck. All right, so the installation is nothing different than a ball. All right, so there you have it, 10,000 pound winch on a hitch for 20 bucks. All right, so now that it's installed, one of the things you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that you actually make sure that these cables get tied down somehow if you're gonna run or drive with this thing attached. I would not recommend driving with it attached. I would literally put it in the back of your truck, get to the spot where you wanna do it, then attach it, and then you won't have to worry about your wires dragging on the ground. All right, so you're gonna definitely wanna pay attention to uh, the next video that we come out because we're gonna show you how we're gonna drag a 2,000 pound log up a hill to get it cut into saw boards. All right, well, thanks for watching. We're gonna put this winch to use here in the next couple days. We're gonna drag that walnut log up. So make sure you click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on another video. All right, we'll see you on the next one.